Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay God. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be breaking down a pro player's gameplay. I was lucky enough to get into a match with Matthew Piper. And I think for the most part, the general person watching this video is gonna go, who the heck is that? If you guys don't know, Matthew Piper goes by the name of Formal and is a competitive Call of Duty player and has been since November 2013. As you can see by his bio, he has played with a good number of teams and is currently with Luminosity Gaming. Since I don't know him personally, I didn't have him send me some gameplay footage. What I did instead is I went into theater mode, end up looking from his perspective and recorded the gameplay. So now what we're gonna do is transition into a gameplay breakdown. And pretty much what that's gonna consist of is me kind of walking you through what he's doing in the moment and kind of talk a little bit about how he controls the map, how he positions himself, and just some general things that he does that probably most of us don't do on a regular basis. So if at any point you do enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, I typically cover Call of Duty news, in-game updates, best class setups, subscriber breakdowns, as well as other tip and trick videos on how to improve at Call of Duty. If that seems interesting, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. So let's go ahead and get into the breakdown. So the weapon of choice for competitive players is the Maddox, just because how consistent it is, how lethal it is at range, the rate of fire, you can absolutely melt people. You can see how he's positioned here. He's paying attention to the mini map, cycling back and forth. It looks like he's about to get flanked on the left side. Teammates are pushing around. He goes to get to cover, making sure he plays his life because he's going to definitely need streaks if he's playing by himself. And obviously a professional player will change it up just a little bit because obviously public matches are slightly different than the competitive setting. One of the most underrated attributes of anyone playing Call of Duty is confidence. He knows that in this match, he is the absolute best person in the lobby. There is no one better than him. He does this for a living. And although none of us probably watching are professional players, what you got to keep in mind that a lot of times keeping your streak alive comes down to confidence. He calls down this streak, he calls it in right away, and it leads to a pretty good little streak there. So he's already started his next streak alive. He's controlling the spawns as best he can. You can see that all of his teammates are in the actual hard point. So what that means for him is he has to push out of the hard point. Look at how aggressive he is. He does have that stim shot, so he's healing himself rather quickly, and he's pushing to the next hard point. Unfortunately, there's a guy who's skipping around in the match, and you can see that there. And it looks like I've joined the lobby now that I've uh, decided to show up in the little kill feed. But one thing you'll notice that he does pretty well and is very smart to do is if at least one of his teammates is on the hard point, he will not be on that hard point. And that's ideally how you are supposed to play hard point because what you want to do is create a little bit of a buffer so it's harder for enemies to get close to that hard point. And as long as one person is on the objective, you're going to be pretty good to go. And I bring this up because a lot of times when you're playing that mercenary mosh pit, you'll have like three or four teammates on the objective, which is not a very smart play. Ideally, you want one, maybe two on that objective. And pretty much what will happen is everyone will be a bubble around them. So that what happens is when your teammates get in those engagements, or you do, because you're creating that bubble, what will end up happening is whoever's on the objective will have time to react and take those people down. So you can see right here, he still has a few shots there, took those people out, and now they got to move to the next objective. It does look like it's a little bit behind him, and this dude is nasty with this particular weapon. You'll see he puts on a pretty nasty feed and continues to control this side of the map. So right here, the spawns are directly in front of him. So again, he's providing that buffer. His teammates should be on the objective. At least one of them should be on the hill because they are behind. He was providing that buffer. Not really much of his team is fighting for that map control. And based off the mini map, you can see that the enemy team is collapsing on them. And it looks like they just got nine bang. They're not really in a good position here. He ends up outgunning that guy. They still have a pretty good stronghold on the hill. And then he comes out, snaps onto the guy, knowing with full confidence that he's going to laser beam these dudes. Look at how accurate he is with his gun skill. He doesn't really miss many shots. Obviously, that guy's skipping. But at the end of the day, he snaps onto people and has been playing at such a high level for so long, he knows he's going to lock down the area. And you can see right here, he's locking down this area of the map. All the teammates are behind him, not really pushing with them. So he is kind of playing that aggressive position. Ends up outgunning a lot of these people. Now they have a new hill. He's right in the middle, takes those guys out on another Merciless playing aggressive on the hill and you don't always have to be on the hill and I say that part again because I've done several hard point videos where I'm maybe not on the objective I don't have a ton of hill time and then people come to the comments section and just say you're kill whoring you're not really playing the right way and I think a lot of times the biggest issue comes from a lack of understanding how you should be playing hard point and a lot of it comes down to only one person having a ton of hill time maybe rotating it out obviously sometimes people are dead so you got to jump on the hill when it does make sense to jump on the hill but i wouldn't just say have five people on the hill blindly 
having the heal because someone's just going to come up and heat wave you guys nine bang so there's a lot of issues that arise when you start playing in a way where everyone's huddled in one room what you want to do ideally is position yourself so that you could be right outside the hard point kill people off the hard point and then make sure that that area doesn't really get contested because if it doesn't get contested you get the complete hill time the hill is already rotating somebody on the team was already anchoring in the back of the spawn so basically as long as he gets these kills right here this guy in the back corner the team should have these spawns and allow them to get the entire hill time so right now the spawns have flipped you can see them kind of pushing through check it really quick as long as it's anchored you're good to go so right here as long as he pushes forward he knows he's going to have the entire heal time again i said he's nasty with this particular weapon and you will see in this upcoming clip how disgustingly good a pro player can be especially with his accuracy a lot of times that's one of the biggest differences between a pro player and a non-pro player obviously the pro players know how to play smart they know how to position themselves the right way. But since they're always playing against high caliber players, their accuracy has to be on point. Like I said, he's pretty disgusting with this thing. He pretty much just wiped out the entire team. Flipping the spawns to this particular side of the map. He knows it's going to flip to this end. He goes and gets those guys taken out again. Another five piece. Look who's in the hill. Took it over. Already cycled those streaks one more time. Clears that last guy. There is still one more guy in the hill. He's got to go ahead and peek that guy. And there are a couple more to this left side right in front of him. As soon as those get taken out, for whatever reason, they spawn in this area. Not necessarily a good spawn. He gets sniped. Not much he can do there. But it does look like they got a solid heal. He ends up going and taking these guys out one more time. And it looks like his team has a solid hold of the map. And that's what you like to see. Positioning away. He's not usually in the hard point. He was in there for a quick second until a teammate jumped on. You can see there's like two or three teammates on the hill, not doing a very good job of locking down the hill or any part of the map. And you got two random teammates on the other side. So it's kind of one of those things that these guys on the left are doing a good thing. One of the guys in the hill should be looking at the doorway over here to make it a little bit harder for those enemies to come through here like he's doing. He plays aggressive, takes on these full engagements, has no fear when he plays and that goes again back to that confidence a lot of times people ask me in the comment section hey i go on a 20 streak i just can't get to that 25 30 streak well a lot of that has to go with confidence i think once we get to those higher streaks that's uncharted territory so we feel a little bit nervous we kind of psych ourselves out and then we start choking our shots and we end up missing more shots than we normally would that actually got us to that streak a little bit of the pressure rises and we end up in a really bad spot right here you can see he's still controlling the objective there are people going to push from this side he pushes forward takes them out jump shots pretty aggressively ends up taking out pretty much all those guys gets hit by the last one there so obviously a monster of a player hopefully you did enjoy the breakdown he went 89 and 12 thank you guys for watching remember to hit that like button and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn notifications on appreciate the support we'll see you on the next one thank you for watching as always have a great day